you've made something inside of Ableton and you'd like to be able to export all of the individual tracks out. This is what we call rendering stems or exporting stems. It's very simple. I'm going to show you how to do it. You select the area that you would like to render. In my case, it's the 16 bar loop. And I use a command control shift R. But you can also go up to file and open export window that way. Now that we've got this open, you can go to the rendered track and we can see that we've got a whole bunch of options here under this drop down menu. Main is if we just wanted to export uh, stereo output with all of our uh, tracks summed together. But what we want to do is we want to do individual tracks. So that's what we would select. But just note that you can manually select just any track inside of here that you'd like. We're going to make sure that the render point is correct. It starts where we want it to and it ends where we want it to. It's correct. And here we have the option to have on or off a feature. So if we have it on, what is going to happen is any effects on our main and any effects on our return tracks are going to be rendered into all of the individual tracks, okay? If we have that turned off, then the master and the the master won't be rendered onto any of the tracks and the return tracks will be rendered as separate audio tracks, so the effect just by itself. And I'll do it like that because I think that's useful to see. And then we're going to go through here, sample rate, that's my default sample rate. We'll keep analysis file on because that's going to make it quicker when we pull the audio files back into Ableton. Um, PCM should be on, we select WAV, we're going to use 24-bit, no dither, no MP3, hit export. Then inside your export folder, just go ahead and make one for that particular track, exported track, right? I'm going to open that and I'm going to go save. And that's going to go through the process of rendering out every single audio track inside of our project. So I'll skip ahead when it's done and I'll show you what it looks like and we'll pull it into Ableton and take a look. Here are all of my rendered tracks and their associated uh, analysis files, right? So you see the WAV and the Ableton file there. So I'm going to go ahead and select all of those, click drag and I'm going to go over to Ableton and if I just hover over a track it would allow me to drop the audio in but it would put all of the audio tracks on one um, on one channel right but if I hold control then it allows me to drop them all across various channels so I'll do that and now we have all of those rendered tracks pulled back into Ableton and we can take a look at a couple things so whatever your project title is it's going to get saved into the, the title of the audio file, right? And this is the main output rendered. So we'll listen to that. Right, so that would be just like if we were just exporting one stereo output. That's everything together, okay? So Ableton's going to render that out for you. It's going to render out our reverb. So that was on a return channel. And you can hear it's just reverb. It's going to render out groups. So in my case, this is the drum group. But it also renders out all the individual parts. So here are the hats, right? And so if you don't pay attention, you're going to have double, double ups because your drums are going to be playing twice because you're going to have all the individual drum elements and then you're going to have the group. So just bear that in mind. Um, and that is probably everything that you need to be aware of with the rendering out tracks. So super quick one. Hopefully you learn heaps from this one. If you want to keep learning, go ahead and watch this video and I'll see you again very soon.